Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new episode of Monday Market Minute. Hello everyone, I'm Jen, your Delaware Realtor, bringing you a Monday Market Minute for March 2022. And it's a week late because Mike had a little unfortunate home renovation accident that required him to get surgery to fix the tendon in his thumb. <laughs> and I don't know if he thought that by doing that, it was just gonna kind of get him out of finishing the basement, but I basically told him, you better learn to do that flooring one-handed because clearly he doesn't know who he's marrying. <laughs> but don't worry, he did. <laughs> So March pretty much played out exactly how we predicted the market would react to the aggressive stance that the Fed is taking on inflation, with a little added insult with the war in Ukraine. In March, we had 1,072 new listings, which is down almost 400 new listings from February. We had 907 homes go pending, with 840 homes closing. And those two numbers are the lowest numbers that I've seen in recent years. The average days on market dropped to 21 days with the average selling price dropping to $309,334. The average interest rate jumped up to 4.17% according to Freddie Mac. So as you can see, the market has cooled off considerably. Although if you're a buyer in this market, it probably doesn't feel like that because inventory is so low. So the desirable homes are still selling fast with multiple offers, no contingencies. And even though they're not selling for maybe $50,000 over asking, they are still selling for over asking. Now on the seller side, sellers of properties that maybe need a few repairs or some updating or maybe aren't in the most desirable areas are definitely starting to feel that buyer demand pullback from the shock to the market from the interest rate spike. Buyers have lost significant purchasing power this past month. And going forward, there's a lot of uncertainty to just how high these interest rates will go. At the time of this video, it's sitting above 5%. We have already reached levels that I predicted we would see a market pullback. The most alarming part about these interest rate increases is how fast they spiked, which has been an absolute shock to the market. The most notable piece of data to represent this is the average selling price. The average selling price dropped $70,000 from February, which indicates the purchase demand in the higher price points has taken the biggest hit. Unfortunately for buyers who have been hoping for a market crash in hopes that they would be able to get a good deal on properties, there is no indication that that is going to happen. And honestly, all that has happened is what I've been warning buyers for for the past two years. The housing market is in a crisis and it's an affordability crisis and it continues to get worse and worse. And this latest phase in these interest rate spikes have just made it completely go into overdrive. Yes, home prices are slightly down overall, but those payments on those same houses, those mortgage payments are even more money. And unfortunately, I just do not see any relief on the horizon. And I do predict that honestly, the affordability crisis is just going to get worse. If you're a buyer in this market, I cannot stress to you enough how important credit score is. As the interest rates go up, the capital is going to tighten at these mortgage institutions, which is only gonna make it harder to obtain a mortgage. And only the best credit scores will get the lower rates. And with interest rates spiking to as high as they have, it is so important to be able to get the lowest possible rate you can. If you're curious on how to increase your credit score and would love to talk to a mortgage lender, send me an email and I will get you connected with a mortgage lender who can help you. Because while you may think that you can do it yourself, a lot of times you could pay off maybe $20 on a credit card and it improves your score 
like 10 points. So you really never know. It's always best to have a plan and talk to someone. The market has been highly volatile lately and the news has been changing faster than ever. So be sure to hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on the ever changing real estate market. If you are a seller in this market and you are thinking about selling your home and you would like an instant valuation of what your home is worth, check out the link down below in the description. And if you are a buyer in this market and you're looking to purchase in Delaware, I would love to work with you. There is also a link down in the description for a one-on-one -on -one consultation to get started. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope that it helps. If it did, be sure to give me a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a new video. And I will see you on the next one. Hey, were you thinking about moving to Delaware? You might want to check out this video right here. And if you would love to tour Delaware New Construction Homes with me, check out this playlist right here. And don't forget, subscribe to my channel.